leaving my uh, circle side shift in the middle for the time being. And what I'll do is I'll put each corner down here, kick it in the flow, reach over on my right side, retract my pin, now my pin's out. pulled off here now I'm just replacing a few of the uh, wedge pins is what they call them this is a brand new one not been used these here they're not completely shot yet they still got some life to them I just flipped them over that way it'll wear that other side yet and I'll take you over here 
And that is a shot one. So if you can tell they're really getting thin. Uh, this one's actually worse yet. It's just about wore through here. It's getting that flat face where the material rolls across. Uh, so I'm just replacing a few of these pins here. And then I'll clean the frog up with my wire wheel. And then we'll go back on with the edges so we can go back out and blade next week. So it's pretty simple to replace these. All it is is this mounting board stays on the frog. And then you have these little uh, plates back here. You simply just put your try to stick that on the mount there so all you do is stick your wedge pin through there and I'll grab my impact tighten that up and then you got your plow bolt all the way through there and then that's what holds your cutting edges onto your mounting board. So pretty straightforward as far as that goes anyway. I uh, got a set of regular, these are called the uh, RAM, and they're just a regular steel blade. I got the uh, P300s, and these are the uh, ones with holes. Uh, they do a really nice job in the spring for blade and lice. And then I had a set of carbides on here. And this township has a lot of bad rock in it. And I don't really particularly care for these carbide edges. Because there's no hard facing on the front of them. And they uh, chip very, very easy. This one here is in pretty good shape. But if you come over to this one, and yeah, not so hot. Got a big chunk missing out of that one. Carbide's gone, that blade's pretty well garbage. Not much you're gonna do with it. Uh, the shark system's got its pros and cons. I, uh, I like it for in the spring of the year, uh, for grooming up the roads. Uh, it's really easy to switch back and forth to a regular steel edge or you know put the uh, like the p300s on and go out and groom with them uh, cut washboards and everything that does a nice job uh, the only bad thing I don't like about it is, is with this mounting board on here and the wedge pins is it does not scour with a crap and you have to scrape your mold board just about all the time and it really gets annoying so i really don't like that especially doing dirt work it's horrible so i went and picked up a set of my uh inch double carbide with the hard facing on them uh they're a very good edge here i had really good luck with them so got these picked up yesterday uh it's about 2160 bucks for uh, four of them about 540 bucks a piece so yeah they're not cheap but uh we should easily get probably three four years out of these and uh it'll be well worth the investment in my opinion so i'm just going to keep the shark system on here till about uh probably the end of may and then i'll take the mounting boards off and then put my uh carbide edges on and everything will be good so i'll uh, knock out these here i'll show you what it looks like going back on okay so going back on with the regular what they call a ram and that's a regular 5 8 blade um pretty much all it is, is these wedge bolt or the wedge holds the blade on here so all you gotta do is just throw it on through these pins here and then there's a little notch right here if you can see that where my thumb is uh, that has to go up towards the mold board and you just pretty much slide them in like this here 
Just grab our wedges. There's four fur blades, so it's relatively easy to put on. <clears throat> Make sure that's always pointed up. And then you stick it in there like that. And then we grab our uh, hammer, striking hammer here. And simple as that. You got your uh, heads on there. And then you have to rotate them to keep them straight, you know, throughout the day or whatever. It depends on how you're cutting. Uh, I like them for the most part, but uh, this is probably the thing that I don't like about the most of them is, is see how there's that gap right here between your frog and the mounting board and then the actual edge itself. And that's a perfect spot for material to take and build up if you get into some lighter material where it doesn't want to uh, slide across very good, you end up with that happening, and then you have to scrape the board off all the time. is isn't the end of the world, but uh, I don't particularly like that part about it. So that's the main reason why I'm going to switch over, and we're going to go to the uh, three-quarter edge, this uh, or the inch carbide thick, that you know, take this whole system off and put the carbides on in the summer. So, but with that, I'd like to uh, thank everybody for watching, and uh, like you to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll keep the content coming. If anybody's got any questions, put them down in the comments, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.